Hello, family and friends. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. Hello, 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 my tribes. All right, this is going to be your daily message. Keep in mind, guys, my daily messages are timeless. So, whenever you are receiving your message, you are supposed to receive it. All right, so let's get you a daily message. Let's see what is going on with you. I hope everybody is doing well. All right, as we jump into this energy. Now, I'm going to call all the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node energies that I see. It could be you and your person fluctuating between your signs. There's a link in below if you don't know them, okay? Also, any third-party energy, I'm going to call it, and I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this message, babies. You already know I'm going to give it to you. How it, how it needs to be given. It's giving. So this message is giving me that energy where this message might be giving this morning. We're going to see, honey. It might be giving. We might need to give. We might need to give that energy. Okay. That's that giving. That, that, yeah, that part. Okay. That's where we at. All right. Let's get into it. All right. Ooh. All right. Messages. Mm -hmm. mm. Messages for the collective. Okay, thank you. Wisdom. Oh, yeah. Okay, wisdom announcement and ex exertion. Romance. Um. Okay. So someone here is feeling abandoned. I feel like they know about this connection. This could be you, but they could be tired. Yep, they're scared. Something here this person is discerned about. Yeah. This could have been something that was revealed, something that was said, and it... it you're kicking this person's ass. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. This person knows. I want to let you know there's love here. But this person here could be exhausted. It could be overworked. Or you feel that way. This is be I'm gonna tell you what's happening. Someone here abandoned somebody in this romance. Now someone here is going to eat those. I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. Someone here knows that they're gonna have to work extra hard to reconnect with you. And this is giving one of those moments. Yeah, that's what this is. And this person could be like, let's jump into this. Cause I, I want to see, let's see. Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles in the Hangman. Someone here is like, could be extremely determined to get your child. Yes. Honey, look, I'm a. The hangman and the four ones, especially for you guys that are on a twin flame journey. I want you to understand someone here is extremely determined to get you. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this person has been, um, it, it, it is, yeah. This person could have had a spiritual awakening to someone that is also digging in spiritual. This is someone that could also have ghosted you in the past, cut you off, or you did. This is a situation you did. You pulled back your energy here. Yeah. This is somebody that now wants to work on this with the Eight of Pentacles. You could be connecting with the Capricorn. Let's see. Messages. Show me the messages for the collective Holy Spirit. Show me the messages. I'm going to turn these. I'll be feeling like it's more open that way. Show me. The star card. You could be connected with the star seed. Someone definitely wants to heal this. Someone here wants to have a child. Mm. They stuck on this, honey. They want to have a conversation. And this is someone um, that you, you guys aren't talking Nope, they trying to manifest your ass back in. This person wants, yeah. This is your divine masculine, whether you're on her for a, a man or a woman. This want, this person wants even give and take. Let's 
We got Libra and Aqua Arian here. Arian. Fire energy, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Overall energy, yeah. Four of Cups. There is a lot of organic energy going on here, child. This is big. Your angel number is 64. Angel number 64 is a message to stay grounded and focused, knowing that your angel surrounded and support you as you work on your divine. Yep. Your divine energy. Your div Hold on. Let me open this up. Now you can um break these down and add them on up. Yeah, as you work on okay, as you are connecting to source your counterpart. This is someone here. Someone here is knows that they're gonna have to put in a lot of healing work to connect with you. This is what they're discerned about. This is someone that could feel like they need a lot of healing. It could take some time. This can also be a reason why they cut you off, um, quit talking to you in the past. They think a lot about that with the four cups here being in reverse. Yep, yes they do. And the five of pentacles being here. I told you. This person is tapping into source. The sun card. They're getting enlightenment. This person also wants to give you some kind of enlightenment here. Um... This person is definitely in. This is someone that could be. Oh my gosh. All right. Now, for some of you guys, someone here. Okay. Uh, Which one of y'all listen to Armand Wigg um, William Wiggins? The Armand Wiggins show? Why am I hearing his song? It's all. It's, it's been a minute. Been a minute. Are y'all trying to test me? Oh, wait. I said it's been a minute. I'm trying to go. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, ding, ding. Okay, thank you. Honey. Somebody here watches Armand Wiggins. Y'all ain't getting that past me. See, y'all be trying to hide shit from me like I want. I'm so sad track and let you know I know what's going on here. I just had to keep you up, but I was just a little spiritual update. Okay, back to your message. I like Armand Wiggins too. All right. For so oh, it's been a minute since you talked to this person. It's been a minute. So, okay. Because they cut you off in the past, so it's been a minute. Yeah. This person... Child, I did, did it. Okay. I'm going to let that part go. It's been a minute. This is someone that is also missing you sexually or something like that. I'm going to let y'all figure that part out for yourself. But some of you guys are definitely Armand Wiggin fans. I do watch him as well. You know, I, I keep up on my little social media tea every now and then because I don't deal with them out there like that. Now, getting back into this message. Um, this person does want to manifest a good even give and take with you. Someone here is manifesting this. Now, someone here, um, they want to be, um, this is a big thing. This is a big way. The emperor is, um, you could, um, the emperor is someone here is um, boss like a CEO, head things. This is someone here that might want to show you things. They feel like they, um, you could teach them, they could teach you. This is what's coming in your current energy. This is someone here that is coming currently completely different from the past. Someone here, you could have a full sleeve tattoo on your leg. Mm-hmm. Some of you guys have a purple maxi dress or you wore some kind of maxi dress the last time you saw this person. This could be someone who also likes maxi dresses. Because it's like this woman is consistently having maxi dresses in a maxi dresses on in this in these cards um, here. I do also I'm picking up on like a silk rug for some of you guys as well. This person has gotten a light, a lot, a lot, a lot of enlightenment on this. Let's see what's going on here. This person might also be a little bit hesitating. They could have like a little bit of third chakra issues. Yeah. Knight of Cups um, in reverse here. As I pick up the deck, yeah, with the Page of Swords in reverse because of some kind of shame and guilt they got when it comes to this connection um, here. Since you guys haven't been talking, someone here know they're going to have to put in the work. 
Someone here also sees this not just happening overnight. They could be willing to put in the work. This could be someone that's wondering, pondering, like, well, damn, how much work is it going to be? I don't want to sit there thinking like you're not worth it, but they want to know how much is it going to be to get you back kind of energy. I don't know, y'all. Let's see. Uh... Someone here has a big goal here, but hmm. and someone here also has a green hunter green um swimsuit. I don't know who this, I don't know why why that's important. Some of you guys have an ancestor, a picture of an ancestor on your wall here. This is back in the 60s or something where they were afros. Alright. Some of you guys um got like uh, long, long braids, long, long twisties. These could be all the way down to your bum here. Someone here also speaks in a church, has a platform here, a ministry or something. This could be anything. It could be on relationships. It could be religious. It could be even spiritual. Take it how it resonates. Oh, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's public. Hell yeah, this person is um, could be well known. This is the magician here with the six of pentacles and the emperor. Yeah. She, um, yeah. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Uh, the emperor came back out. Both of you guys could be in your masculine energy. That's another th reason um, that could be a problem here. Ooh, all right. There's car okay, let me see something here. This person is clearly know they got the work in and put the work in here to come to give you something in your current energy that they didn't give you in your past. What was the Queen of Swords about? Show me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Chow, hell yeah. And if this is a man or a woman, they were in their player ways. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I love you so much. Thank you. This person here gave you a very masculine um, vision of them. But they actually manifest in the Queen of Swords energy. I hate to say this. This is a man, child. If you get catty, they could be just as motherfucking catty as you. That shit might get on your nerve. They might do this shit. Uh, uh, this is someone here that will be like, let's say you get in a, if this is a man, let's say you get in an argument with this person and y'all do this shit. They'll do the same shit that irritates you. Like, and I don't give a, like, in there, like, <laughs> oh, shit. Who is y'all? Who is y'all talking to? And if it, it like, yeah, they do shit. And what the fuck is all of this shit? Like, don't do this shit when you talk to me. Like, they'll they'll get as petty as you. Oh wow. Yes, honey. But someone here as well was a player from the Himalayas, honey. I'm just here to tell you. Yeah, they were. Uh, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And for some of you guys, they fell back. For some of you guys, yeah. Okay, this is what this is. Yeah, the hangman. Now, part of the hangman energy that's here, um, this person does want to talk to you. They were in the Four Cups. I told you. Four Cups. But the thing is, you know, because um, this person, someone here, they could get real petty as well when they get their feelings hurt. Damn it, I'm so... Off. Now, if you are dealing with a, a a woman, she is in her masculine form, but she when she um but when she gets hurt, and um or she will manifest in her Queen of Swords energy, that could be a little bit real strong, real mm. um arrogant. It can be. I mean, all of us go through that. Sometimes I have to check myself, being honest with you, and in different um you know stages of your life, depending on what you're going through in your relationships, it does trigger you here. Um, here, but this this person here, uh, they didn't cut you off. They fell back. This is also someone that um they could have saw this as you know maybe um they 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 felt like they were had to put extra work in this connection even though they didn't want to lose it because um if this is your energy they seen that and they saw that as something that needed to be healed here because it triggers them. What's the star court? Oh shit. Yeah, see, they saw you as the Queen of Pentacles, and they felt like they were. This is a um, a very soulful connection that they had. They felt guided to this connection. They feel like it's universal guided. But the thing is, um, the energy it gives off could be like over the star card. 
Like, and then for, for, for some of you guys, both of you guys could be star seeds. So when you guys get hurt and trigger you, each other, y'all both manifest in your star, in your moon energy. And it triggers you guys. It also makes you guys both exhausted in this connection. But this person did, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, such a tearing Capricorn energy, whether this is a man or woman you're on here for, again, sees you as wifey or someone that they did want to make, yeah, that they wanted to keep talking to. They felt guided to, to talk to you like you were on our team. You had a card that fell down over there. You know we need oddity. Let me see what that is. Oh. Yeah, child, hell yeah. And for some of you guys, seven of swords. This person could have also, um, yeah, because of this energy, because of this, whatever this, yeah. The, I'm, I'm going to say this. And for some of you guys, that had a lot, a little bit to do with some of the choices that they made when they, um was a player from the Himalayas and was still fucking with other people. They did have you on some type of pedestal. Yes, they was sneaky. Yes, they went to other options. But this is also someone here that um, snuck away from you because of it could be a little bit of um, attitude, discernment, of energy, of how do we both get along? How are we both going to kind of make things work? Let me see. Because too much of anything is an overflow. What's the star card? Um, ding, ding. That's your confirmation. You could be connecting. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You could um, be connecting with another aqua area in here. What is uh, the um, the star? Should, I'm thinking. Holy Spirit, show me this one first, please. Thank you. Yes, honey. The King of Wands. One of you guys is a King of Wands here. One of you guys is a Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This is someone here. Yeah, four of ones in reverse. This is why this didn't work out. Yep, and they fell back. This is the thing, though. This is, they fell back. They didn't cut you off. You It felt like it. And I might have extra triggered this because it made you really, really go into your uh, moon energy. And it really, really put you guys at heads and at odds. Yeah. Okay, so I heard this off the camera um, here because I, I had to quick pause the video real quick because I wanted to break down your you guys' angel number and little stuff I like to hashtag down below so I don't forget. This emperor is saying um, clearly, I did not cut you off. I fell back. I, I, I don't know. Let's look into, um, show me this one, the star seat here, please. If, if, if this is a twin flame journey, both of you guys could be twins. This is clear. Yeah. Some of you, both of you guys are twins. This, for some of you guys, this is your twin flame. For sure. Yep, the chariot. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you were bur This put pressure on both of you guys. A lot of pressure. It's like you guys bumped heads. Well, you did. You bumped heads. And... They, they, their perception changed. Uh, it's not so much about you, but the connection. Because they still see you as a queen of pentacles. Yeah. Um, let me see more of this situation. Hold on. You know what? Well, before I get to that, I want to see something else real quick, y'all. What's this um hangman out here twice for? Why is the hangman here twice, please? I feel like it's both of you guys stuck. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Both of you guys are in the hangman. Yeah. Yep. The Queen of Swords in reverse and the Devil card. Yep. It became very gas, honey. So, and the, this is the thing. It became too toxic. Overwhelming. Too much of any... Yeah, it's an overflow. That's how this person could have felt. This is someone... Now, this is your past energy. I just want to clarify the Devil card, please. Yep, and someone here, they wanted their um, cake and eat it, too. Damn, these cards be flying on the damn floor, honey. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Yep, this slowly, and they started cutting this off. Yep, they did. Yep. 
and just fell back. The hangman. All right. I just needed to see that. Damn, y'all. I be running all over this room. Y'all lucky I love y'all. Let me get this damn card. Okay. Yep, they did. And they fell back. Not only did they fell back, they started watching you. I want to see what they damn watching you. And what did they find out when they were in this page of storage energy? This could be your platforms, whatever you post and whatever you saying, they've been watching your ass. And what and what, what came off the page of source here? Because see, this is the thing. They still feel this. This romance. It's a page of swords. Yep, they're still attracted to you. This is also someone that's been watching other people. If you got other people making passes at you, someone here's also been in your friends list trying to see, trying to figure you out here. Yep. They're Empress. They know that you, these are twin flames. This person has has watched you. They know exactly who you are. Three of Swords. Oh my God, and they're heartbroken. So, yep, yeah, by offers. Someone here could even be um, upset with their self by others seeing in you that they didn't see that you were an Empress. And that everything is like slowly being revealed to them, whether you're the Empress or the Emperor here. What is the Three of Swords, whether this is a man or a woman you're on here for? What's this? Yep, they realize the truth through watching you. Now, if you got a platform online, because some of you guys, I see that, or you're publicly known, or however, they've been watching you through fake um, accounts, fake profiles, whatever this is for you, and they've been learning you, and now they see it. This is someone that's mad at their self because they couldn't see what others could. Someone even could be kicking their self in the ass right now. Like, damn, how the fuck did not I see that? And now they're like, that's my empress. Um, that's my emperor. Someone here, yeah, because both of you guys could even be healers with the star card. Those are star seed. That's star seed energy. You could be a mystic, a shaman, whatever it is for you. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, compromise. Now this person's coming back into compromise. Yeah, blessings. Death in imagination. This person here went through a strong um, transformation after this um, death that you guys went through. When things ended, when you guys quit speaking, whatever that is to you. Yeah, liberation is here. And they've been liberated. This is someone that has been freed from whatever they thought or think. They don't think like that no more. Yep, friendship. This is someone that could also just be like, you know... Can we at least have a friendship? Yep. Yeah, but see, the thing is, they really trying to get... Yeah, they're trying to get back in your in your energy. Yeah. They have too much pride to tell you that they've been praying. And that's what the angels, your angel number 64, was all about. Wishing fulfillment. Bottom of the deck. All right. Now, let's see how this person wants to uh, come towards you in... In the future here. Yep, here they come. Someone here, um, we got the Eight of Wands, the Lover's Card, and the Four of Cups here. That Sagittarian, Geminian is here in Cancerian energy. Um, someone here might get a little emotional. It might make you a little bit emotional. Because um, they're, you know, willing to be a, extremely authentic. Mm -hmm. Yep. Truthfulness. You know, I'm sorry I didn't see it before, but see through this rejuvenation project, pro, uh, process. And that's with them falling back, resting, but watching. They learned a lot. A hell of a lot. A whole heck of a lot I just heard. All right, let's see. Uh, I want to see what's going on with this four cups real quick. Let's look at that. All right. We'll continue to use this deck. I think, yeah. We'll just do that. Show me. Um, what's this four cups, please? Holy Spirit. Show me. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirits. Thank you. Show me what's the four cups. Thank you. Yep. Them wanting to work out what you is the group. Got them three of cups because you the ten of cups. This could be... um. 
a, a quick uh, reach out, a little reach out, something small. Um, usually ground energy is something um, tangible, like a text message, something you could use, something you could show, you know, uh, DM, uh, email, whatever it is for you. I see. I heard snap, I heard what's that? I'm seeing downloaded. Uh, someone here could do a downloaded app. I don't know. Some shit like that could happen as well for some of you guys. Yeah. Yep. And they might want to do this quickly. When this person gets this opportunity to reconnect, the honey, they might um, run your ass over. They need that's your confirmation. Yeah. Yep. The lovers in the three ones in reverse because they want you back that day. Yep. They want this new start. This is someone that's coming in brand new. I want to see the magician. What else is being manifested here? This, both of you guys, or uh, this person realizes, someone here also studied you and could realize how you guys can actually literally work together and become the emperor and the empress like you were already supposed to be. Anyway, what's this? Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse here. Okay, now I'm not going to lie, there's some tricky shit going on here, ten of swords. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. This person does realize it's a twelve flame um, journey. They do feel guided to do this. They're worried. Okay, they're worried. Someone here is worried if you're not gonna work with them now. This is someone I feel like they gotta be sneak. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! This woman or man feels like they have to be sneaky. They gotta be kind of canavin because of the past energy they can't come back that way because you're not going to work with them no <laughs> i cannot make this shit up the six of cups hell no yeah because what they invested to invested in the past and they know they weren't the emperor they were supposed to be though mm -hmm. yeah five of cups they were supposed to be see this four of wands these are, this is a twin flame situation here, honey. There ain't no other way to put it, y'all. I'm just... This is like, yeah. So, yeah, they do got a plan. Yes, they are being sneaky. Yes, you know, all this, you know, they're, they're doing this. But I feel like they, they, they're they willing to put in that extra work to do what's necessary once they feel like they got reconnected to you. The thing is that the wish fulfillment here is, yeah, they just have to get in. That's how they feel. Or because of the past, it ain't going to work. No other way. And yes, they damn sure been praying, honey. All right. I'm going to see what this person wants to say to you. This is coming out of this eight of wands. Look, mm -hmm. This is it. What, what, this, they are clear they made the wrong choice, honey. They made the wrong choice. Going, going against you falling back from you. This is someone that realized that they never should have even fell back. They should have still worked with you. They, they know. Yep, I always have known you are the one for me. I cannot make this shit up, honey. I'm here to tell you that the truth, child. It was a damn it moment. It was a damn it moment for this person. It was a reality check for this person. It was a smack in the face for this person. But the thing is, they realized that they were smacking their own goddamn face. What is that? I just heard your ancestors might speak like this. Or someone you passed away that you know might speak like this. Cut your nose off to spite your face. Because you were their sunshine. And they made the wrong choice. Cut their nose off to spite their face. I don't know. Cut their nose off to spite your face. Okay, cut their nose off to spike their face. That's like a saying. I think I might have heard that before. It's been a while since I heard that. Uh huh. This is a, um a, your ancestor here could be um an old school person. This could be you know someone that's very traditional like. Okay, let's see what's this, what's coming on with eight eight of ones. Almighty, beautiful universe and holy spirit. So let's just move this over here. Show me what's coming out with eight of ones, please. Mm. Damn. All right. Woo, child. Okay. What is this? 
I am so confused why it's like this now. I don't understand why things are the way they are. This is someone that was very confused, too. This connection confuses them. But the thing of it is, I really do want us to work out. I feel like this confused both of you guys. Because both of you guys came out in the hangman. Both of you guys had burdens. Both of you guys... It, it, was, it just, like, put that energy on y'all. Your eyes are, like, looking into my own, own soul. It is. You make me feel alive. You could have woke this person up. Being with you feels like home. I'm trying to go spiritually to meet you where you are. That's it. Um, I wasn't completely honest. And I regret that. I wish I could take it back. Please forgive me. You are the only one who sees the girl me. So... You know, I don't know, y'all. I mean, that's how they're feeling about this. Uh, okay, what's blocking them? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wrong. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone here needs to get into their one's energy. That's what the tower is about. We got cut. We got the five of swords. We got the pentacles. We ain't got no wands here. They need to quit overanalyzing. Quit overthinking about the offer they want to make you. It's clear to this person that they want to be with you. They could even fucking want to marry you. The queen of pentacles, you just keep popping out. But the thing is, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But the thing is, ace of cups in reverse the tarot card, they're not telling you how they feel. And there's no wands here. There's no action. Someone here is going to need to put some action. They don't. They're going to need to move here. And I got to say this it takes two to tangle and the man gonna have to like man up shit yeah. i don't know what the fuck somebody here need to man up here all everybody's here except for um there's no ones and that always irritates me they want all of this with no action all of this but putting in no work they come off as the Emperor Queen, Queen of Wands, but they're the Queen of Swords in the inside. They don't put in the work. This is someone that cuts shit off and realize shit afterwards and want to come back. This is why they stay in the player energy, even when they don't want to be. It's because of their mindset. It's because of the healing they got to take. Yeah, look at this shit. The Empress in the Ten of Cups. Again. Now, this is fire energy. Empress, arcanic. This is your counterpart. But again, ten of cups. Where's the wands? What's the tarot card? All this motherfucking... Uh, uh, I mean, they're tired because they're overthinking their self. This person is driving their own motherfucking self mad. All right, what's the tarot card here? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Damn. Yep, I'm telling you. Eight of Wands. The motherfucking... I can't make it up. There's no action. There's no wands. There's eight moves that this person should have and could have made. But they'd rather sit here and keep playing and keep... And it's never going to happen if they don't move they ass. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. They're pissing their own self off. And it's pissing you off. Look, they're stuck in a mental fucking prison here. Yeah. Knight of Swords. They're driving herself crazy. Yeah, Four of Cups. They didn't depress their motherfucking self. What's the Ace of, Ace of Cups in reverse? What's the Ace of Cups in reverse, Holy Spirit? The Ace of Cups in reverse, please. Someone here got tattoos on her finger. You could be an air sign. You could have an air symbol on your finger or an element or something, a number, a letter, or something like that. This person needs to stop doing this to herself. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Someone here got some very pretty um, hazel brown eyes. Someone here is also a strategy to look you in your motherfucking face. You know we role play on this channel. You ready? Uh, damn it. Baby, I've been thinking, you know, I've been thinking myself to death. Where the motherfucking death card? I can't sleep at night. There's eight things that I was supposed to tell you that I cried about and I, I can't get them out of them. I'm so angry to take that, please. Stop me. Like, get the f What? This is getting on my 
my nerve. I, 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 like, and what you supposed to do? I'm, I'm sorry. I like, that's what they want. Or something like that. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is going to lead up to the one, to the sex. I don't know, man. But if that could be their strategy. They, they, they're going to look you dead in your motherfucking eyeball. You see this? You see this? Baby. If they got hazel eyes, you stuck. Yeah, this is faded. Don't you look him in his eye, child. You might... They gonna get you. <laughs> if this is a woman, she got hazel eyes, she know how to work them eyes. Honey, they got bedroom eyes. That's the, that's what they call them. Bedroom eyes. Look, faded in reverse. This is overdue. Overkill. Thank you, um, Holy Spirit. This, the will is in reverse. T-A-R and O could be, um, specific. <sighs> what, what, can I... Thank you. I just need to see the eight of one. Yeah. Mm -mm. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. That oh, was it? Uh, it is. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is the thing. Um, the ace of ones, five of ones here. Yeah. Page of swords. It, yep. This is a clever way to stop them to stop you from walking away. But they gotta do it. They might even think. So okay. Thank you. This is another thing. They already have also thought about this too. When they make a move towards you, if they make a move to, towards you, how did you know how it would go? Someone here could have visual visualized like you know how it would be once they connect with you and them. How you guys would like flow, how it would be, what you might say, what they might say, how you gonna look them in their ass, how they gonna look you in their ass, baby. You know that kind of shit. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Oh, this person is fantasizing about you. This person is driving herself yeah, mad, honey. I'm so going. Pitiful. Yeah, they're 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 going mad. Let's see what else you need to know about this. Hold on, let me. I I'm like I don't even know what to say. What what else we need to know here? Let's just see. We gonna start looking at the outcome and wrapping it up for you guys. That's the tarot card, honey. This person needs to put in some action. This is someone here that is mad at herself for not doing this. That's, this is just a little Mr. Rogers neighborhood. That's what's going on here. It could be causing you guys both confusion. This person is just... Someone here is very, very stuck in their ways. That's why this person is trying to go spiritually to meet you where you are. Anything else we need to know here? Is this future energy coming at you? Yeah, this person, they want a real relationship. They don't want a love affair. Love affair in reverse. This is someone, yeah, gossip, petty, jealous, and envy. They could want to, okay. They could also want to talk about a, situ yeah, a situation that they're no longer in. Yeah, okay. I knew it. Because we got financial child support here. And then we got gossip and children here that they're no longer in a situation. If you are connecting with someone, they're not longer in a situation. There is a lot of gossip and talk around that. You might have heard some shit about this other relationship that they were in that they could have tried to have from you. But obviously the shit came out that you could have found about this. You could have found out for some of you guys that they had kids too. But, you know, maybe they're taking care of their child because we got financial um, support, child alimony government. They could tell you that um, here, but they're no longer in this relationship trash being here. Yeah. Now, for some of you guys, this motherfucker didn't went to jail for child support. Mm, I'm just here to tell you, lockdown, mental, prison, confined, and trash. There could have been a situation they dealt with. And some of you guys, um, here, yeah, that they also want to talk to you about. But someone here, they, they're looking at your TikToks as well. Uh, Child. Alright, let's look at your outcome. Ooh. Yep, here this person's come. Now, some of you guys are going to be able to repair and save this relationship. It's, it, it's faded. It's, it's, there's no... It's a faded contract you have with this person. Yeah. All right, let's do a little bit uh, of clarification here. We'll just use these cards right here. This is another one. I'm hearing that song by Aaliyah. At first you don't succeed. Uh. Dust yourself off and try again. You gotta dust yourself off and try. Okay, someone here. Yeah, I don't have my hummingbird for a storm. Sorry, guys. It's Oh, it, it'll come later. But um, Damn it. someone here. So pissed off. 
they going to put in the work. Yeah, exert, ex, you know, exertions here. Where's the card? Some of you guys might have to rewrite in the video, honey, because I don't feel like going through all these cards. But, yeah, here it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, this is someone here, at first they don't succeed. At first they didn't succeed, but they're going to dust yourself off and try again. Yeah. All right. Ciao. Okay. Now the ones, uh, the chariot, the king of pentacles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven of Wands. They're going to tell... They want to come forward. They're also going to tell you about um the, why they didn't make you an offer or why you guys... um The store seat in reverse. Why um it didn't work out in the past here. This person is going to um let you know a couple things here. This is part of their wish fulfillment. This is someone that feels like, yeah, this is what they're going to have to do to reconnect with you three of cups and take leadership when it comes to the time they have already lost when it comes to this contract. Go fade it will. That's just what's happening here. Yeah. They're, this is what they're coming back for, the four of wands. To reconnect. Let's see. I just want to use me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, I, it, it, you know, by looking at this person in, as you're going to see emotion. Someone here is going to be open with you. They could, you know, kind of plan this. Like, I'm going to show them. Like, you're going to have proof. Like, damn, like, I've never seen this side of this person. All right, let's get you a couple more messages from this um person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This person here could also want to take you somewhere. Yeah, honey. So you guys can magically connect again. And it doesn't have to be like a for a vacation. It could just be like, you know, a spot where it's just you and them. Where y'all feel like it's, it might feel like a vacation. Y'all could get a hotel room for the weekend. Um, I can't help mentioning you to my close friends and family. So they talk about you. They speak about you. Oh. You, yep, you inspire me so much. You are my muse. Aww. Okay, I'm in love with you. This is, y'all in love. This is a, this is, I hate to tell you this, but you're in love. Yep, I'm working hard on my finances for us, for our future. There it is. You in love, honey. And at first you don't succeed, you dust yourself off and you try again. And that's what happens when it comes to love. Let's get you a love oracle message. You know, those that got 54 years in marriages, like the grandparents and, and people that, you know, how the grandparents used to stay married forever. I mean, they got stories of wisdom. <laughs> and it is not always, you know, pretty. This is a love oracle message. Oh, okay. Yep. Now, some of you guys, okay, finances and career. Finances are definitely an issue here. This is someone here that um could been working on her finances because that came in reverse here, but it's here twice. You still need to pay attention to some red flags here and get into know each other, okay? Because there's still some situations uh -huh, that you guys um are going to be aware of. Now, free yourself, past life attraction. Now, I do see this working out, but for some of you guys, you're going to have to, like, be honest about what you want. Maybe you're going to have to, you know, like this karmic energy, you know. Now, karmic energy is a person, place, or thing. This thing that was between you guys and the past, and for some of you guys, kids and shit and like that is here, you're going to have to be like honest and authentic about what you want in this relationship and what you want to free yourself from. Yeah, it's time to take back control of your life. This is your life. Okay, and this is also you and your person coming together and freeing yourself from that energy and being authentic about what you want if they're, if you guys are going to co-parent together here. Okay. All right, let's get you guys some overall messages. Attraction, yeah. It, 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 the attraction is undeniable, but there are challenges. Okay. There are challenges. Let's see. Oh, damn. All right. 
confusion and clarity and learn. There, this person learned a lesson. You that's what twins do. That's what soulmates do. Hold on, y'all. These cards been flying on the floor, child. Ugh. All right. Yeah. This person here knows. You know. Y'all both know there's a little bit of confusion about this stagnant, stagnant energy in the past because someone here is going to let you know here and give you clarity. Nah, I ain't cut you off. I just fell back. And that's how this person is going to come back in. Yeah, feelings and labyrinth. Even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth. Okay? And even though you guys feel lost, this is their way back um, through. And this is how they're going to come and give you clarity. Now, let's look at your signs and your planets, and we'll shut this down. All right. Oh, they said regular oracle. All right. We'll use these. This is a regular oracle. I want to do this in the universe. I'm going to spirit. Show me. Yeah. Okay. Never jam today. This person is never going to... Once y'all get back in, connected, honey, it's it's a wrap. They're going to wrap this shit up. Yep, shine bright like a candle. <laughs> it, it's going. It's already has been illuminated to them. It's just a matter of connecting to you in time. Oh, shit! It, it, oh, my it, God. It. Clock time in time. That is it, honey. This is faded. So you might as well write this shit down in your planner this year. <laughs> Okay, I heard uh, rejuvenation. So that's what we're going to read here. All right. I'm going to get your signs and planets first, and then we will get, um, we'll read your oracle message. You guys know during the um, daily messages, we read out of the books. Okay, I like to read out the books. All right, let's get you your signs and planets. Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. Can I see the signs and planets for the collective? What are the signs and planets? Those are the signs and planets here. All right. Okay. We have Aqua Arian and Capricorn here. You can also have Aqua Arian in your 10th house. We have Geminin and we have, yep, Aqua Arian. I told you. The star card. You are connecting with another Aqua Arian. That could be, in, in, um, yeah, and that could be another issue here you got was about to beat the shit out of each other, okay? Because you're, you, you're very, very much alike. But this is the thing. That's in the past now. Yeah. You could def Child, you can also be connected to another Geminian. Yep, Saturn's here. Capricorn energy. Tenth house is also here, honey. I can't make that up. That's the Capricorn energy. This is going to bring you guys abundant together again. Here's because this person learned the lesson. That's what Saturn does. Learn. Let love show you how to learn from each other. And it is it, the thing about lessons is they do. They are triggering. Okay. Mercury also rules Geminian. Okay, so you could be connected to another Geminian Aqua Arian. These are air signs for most of you guys. Or you are fourth house. You have a specific air placement in your chart as well. If you don't know all four of your sign placements, don't forget there's a link down below. I love you all. Stay dope. All right, guys. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hit all. That's your frequency. Energetically tune into this channel. So when you are coming in, you are getting your messages. Okay, guys? Before we end the video. Now, we're going to read the Oracle real quick. And I will be right back okay so here it is rejuvenation let me make sure you guys can see the card okay rejuvenation longing bronzing in the sun sea so air and having fun food delights cocktails to take the well-earned break for you to be restored um Taking charge, enjoy the rest now. Yeah, honey, someone here is coming in to take charge. Some of you guys, this is what you guys are going to do. This person wants to take you somewhere. That's just it, yep, to rework y'all's magic. Just so you know that, okay? That's what they want, honey. All right? So, again, real quick, don't forget to hit the four sound placements, the link down below, to know all your four sound placements to get a bigger light and honest messages. I love you all. Stay dope. Next video upload. Ashe and Amon.